Hey there, this horoscope is for Capricorn. This could be Capricorn anywhere in your chart, including, of course, your personal planets and your big three, especially. Also, this could be for any person in your life and, you know, any part of their chart that you want to look at as well. So cusps are also welcome. Hope you guys are doing well. We are going to jump right in here. A lot of stuff going on and we are starting with the first um, and going to the ninth for a little long week this week here. So the... Well, let's take our overlying underlying first. It's time to take action. Okay, take action. I love this. So basically, um, if you've already watched last week's video, you'll know for Capricorn season, of course, if you're following astrology in general, you already know that, you know, there's a lot of energy going on in your first house um, because it's Capricorn season. It's your birthday. And we are looking at you. This is all about you. This is about what you want. And starting on the first, guys, we have Sun, Trine, Uranus. And this is, it's a productive energy. There's some good results energy. And again, just like it says in our overlying underlying, it's time for action, guys. This is inspired, you know, new, fresh start action. Starting to grow, starting to, you know, work. Starting to really, again, get some good results. All of it goes right together there with the Sun, Trine, Uranus. So on the first, we also have... Um, Mercury is moving into Aquarius and this is again not just for today or this week but this is going to be for the next few weeks or so we've got Rocky get down what are you doing oh my goodness sorry guys my dog's a little antsy this morning again um, so Mercury is going to be in Aquarius um, and that is in your second house so there's some good opportunities here for learning about money, really about learning about, it could be about your things, your resources, how to handle your assets and all of this stuff. It's like some new fresh forward. Honestly, it's coming through as like almost crypto. Cause it's just so like, for, it's that Aquarius, that forward focus, you know, thinking, learning, people are communicating with you, you're communicating with others. And, you know, it's all about the money, the funds, the finances, and, um, you know, getting forward. Um, maybe has some forward focused thoughts and ideas at work. It's going to be where your mind is at, you know, um, especially again, over the next few weeks. So uh, on the second, guys, this is our new moon, of course, in Capricorn. So again, the focus is on you. You might be feeling actually like being alone, you know, with yourself, by yourself. It's a time to, of course, set new intentions and definitely new long-term goals, okay? Could be business goals, but for you, really having to do with yourself, what you, you know, and again, it's not just on the outside. A lot of times, you know, we think about this. Yes, it can be your message and like what you're speaking, your truth, but your truth comes, your ideas actually, and your feelings are so related. They're so related. So when you heal your thoughts, you know, you can heal your emotions and vice versa. So it looks like, you know, we might be doing a little digging here, might be um, having some realizations. What do I really want? What, you know, and again, this is the time to set these intentions for the next month, for the month of January. What do, you know, who do you want to be? And it's like, this, this superficial isn't maybe going to be quite enough, um, but you're going to want to change, you know, again, it, and it, it could be the outlook or the, 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 your actual looks, changing some of your looks. But I think for real, we're getting into, you know, some of these thoughts, beliefs, expectations, why do we think that? Why do we do that? Why do we always get that result? Well, do we want to change the result? We have to change the intention. We have to change the thoughts. Okay, so definitely check out Holistic Law of Attraction. It's a great time to check that out. And that is a playlist here on my channel on YouTube. So thanks for being here, guys. Now, we don't have really anything else to speak of uh, until the 5th. Okay, so Venus, Sextile, Neptune. This is... There's, there's a you know, there's a dreamy creativity in the air. And again, this has to do with yourself staying balanced. It's like you want to, it, it's really finding some deeper truths about yourself and how to almost stay more balanced in life, you know, balanced thinking, balanced reactions. You know, I mean, of course, Capricorn always wants to be on your toes, wants to be balanced here. Oh my gosh, got, got more balanced cards here. Um, but you're all about, it looks like 
staying on this even keel, which I, I totally get this because I am too. It's like you want to stay on an even keel. You want to have, it's almost like literally the most balanced meals, the most balanced BMs, the most balanced days, the most balanced, you know, the best sleep. Like you want literally almost like to do everything right here, but there's a reason why. And yes, you know, because we want to look good for others, but we also want to feel good for ourselves. And so there's this kind of creative energy here as to how can you take care of yourself first? How can you be completely balanced in your life, in your home, in your finances, in your heart, in your soul, in your message, in everything? It's all about you. Okay. So don't be afraid to, again, try something new with this full moon or with this new moon, you know, push something, push something through and then, and then have a go with it. Have fun with it start off on that intention you know, again, whatever intention you're setting for the second for the new moon and go with it stick to it commit to it and you know again when when you're making sure that your intentions are correct they are pure then it's easier to stay balanced so again kind of again check out the holistic law of attraction and focus on that part for the second and then that way when it comes to like the fifth or around that time then you'll know you know that you're working so hard that you're focused so hard um, on doing something for a reason you know why you're doing what you're doing of course knowing our why is so 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 important okay so again it may be a new way to spend money or you know something else to um, to, to, to either buy or to look into again, kind of, Oh, truth wise. Oh, there's this, Oh, there's that. Well, that's going to help you. It's like the learning, the more, again, you can kind of almost learn to about, about yourself. This is a lot of change. Okay. This is life changing energy. And there's a lot of opportunity here. And again, it's all going to be about this follow through, follow through on these new intentions. And then come the eighth, guys, we have sun conjunct Venus. So again, we have the action. Again, we've got passion. Okay. What we've been doing here, this, these go together here. You have our judge here, our transformation, our change. This is our dedication to the change, dedication to doing what's right, doing what we had planned to do this week, regardless of, oh, you know, we got this harebrained idea. Remember, even keel, even keel, follow through on these new intentions. And once we do that, even for this short little week, you're going to see, I think, results. You're going to see that achievement. You're going to see that, wow, whole new world energy, possibly. There's a completion. There's a flourishing here. And there's a starting to get little bits of what your heart is desiring. You'll be even more passionate, even more motivated. I think by the end of the week, it's just do it. It's there's big do it energy here. Don't wait, take action, walk the walk. Again, you've got big goals, big dreams, creative ideas here. But again, looking, going within, doing a little shadow work to make sure that those ideas are pure, that those intentions are pure, pure as can be. And Again, having the solid focused intention. So check out the shadow work and holistic law of attraction or as early as possible during this week is going to help you. Okay. But it's looking good guys. It's going to be very, and, and there's a lot of good, again, long-term energy with this new moon. So whatever you're pushing forth here, that's going to be, you know, the energy for the next month or so. So it's like, get this great start on this month so we can be nice and successful, shine our light like we want to do. But remember, you just got to check out that inner light. Um, because that inner light, has got to be working properly. It's got to be all set and ready to go before it can shine out to everybody else. So that's what's going on at the beginning of the week. So the more stable we are in the inside, then the better action, the better habits we're going to start to set up regarding our new intentions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So again, check out the holistic law of attraction. Thanks for being here. Like, share, subscribe, comments, all so much appreciated. I'd love to connect with you guys. You can find me all over social media, Clary Berry at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, et cetera. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.